Well, don't move it till I see it. Hey, it is! I can see it from here! It's orange! Fantastic, sports fans! A team from Brown University, Carn Institution of Washington, and Case Western Reserve University report the first finding of water in lunar melt inclusions. Given the high concentration that we found, it shows that lunar magmas have the same concentration of water as those that we found on some lavas that come from the upper mantle of the Earth. Last year, people found evidence for water on the surface of the Moon in the permanently shadow craters. Um, the question came from the origin of that water and the consensus was that it was produced by cometary material impacted on the surface of the Moon. Our finding suggest that another possibility for the origin of that water could be the magmatic degassing. That means that that water didn't come from outside the moon, but it came from inside the moon. Our finding questions some aspects of the giant impact event that generated the moon. We expect that during this giant impact, you will have a significant loss of volatiles. What our finding seems to suggest that there are regions of the moon that have significant amount of volatiles. That doesn't, that's not well supported by the giant impact. The light yellow tan, you know, probably plant, a little bird theme. It's uh, fairly coarsely crystalline. The assignment that Alberto gave me was to sort through this glass that, that was returned by Apollo 17 and notice the little, little details of it, which included these little clear olivine grains with melt inclusions in them. Tom came one day and said, I found something really different. So when I look at that, I realized that what Tom found were the melt inclusions. The lunar melt inclusions are important because they have trapped water and other volatile elements um, from within the lunar mantle. They provide a window into the conditions from which these lavas erupted. And then I said to Tom, do you know what you found? I said, you found something that will be published in science. It was a huge surprise for me when he told me that this was, I had just found this little millimeter sized rock that was going to change the way we think about the moon. And it's really exciting to be, to be involved in something that it appears will be so significant. In 2008, we reported the first evidence for the presence of water in the interior of the moon. And we predicted that areas within the moon will have concentration of water that will be equivalent to the upper mantle of the Earth. In 2011, we have proven it.